Day 5 viewers, another scorcher in Benidorm. It is a bit windier today, which is a disaster if you're doing YouTube videos. We'll see how that works out later on in the day. Um, just before midday, just about going to do a wee video with Lucy, the Benidorm enthusiast from the Benidorm Stuff channel. Check it out on YouTube. Yeah, it's going to be a scorcher. Okay viewers, day five, we have made it to Tiki Beach at the weekend. How busy is it? Let's check it out. I've got another video just at the end showing you how busy it is here. A couple of wee bars next to it are pretty busy. All the boys are on the stag group here with all the t-shirts on. Um, it is very, very busy. And if you want to chill out just away from all the music, just have a wee lie down in the grass here. Let's check it out, viewers. Pretty busy. Now, I think the front, the sign does say Beach Benidorm now, so I don't know if it changed its name, but it's always known as Sticky Beach. So, younger crowd here. There is bars up the promenade on the left-hand side that are a lot quieter. But if you're looking for absolute party atmosphere, this is a place to be. Let's check out a few places up here as well. They're pretty busy. Can it overspill from here? About 30 degrees, absolutely roasting in Benidorm today. This bar's been busy since about half eleven this morning. It's just getting busier and busier. As all the groups, the stags and the hens all fly in for the weekend, it's going to get even busier. They've even got staff patrolling up in here. So it's pretty busy. It's not for everybody. If you're probably young, 18 to 30, you're probably going to love it in there. There is a couple of bars next door that are a wee bit quieter. You can head in there as well, but the promenade in general, <laughs> it's very, very uh, busy. They've obviously got this guy dressed up here. Oh my goodness. Uh, so you do see some sights in Benidorm, that's for sure. This one next door as well. So this one next door, pretty busy as well. All sorts going on, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I pan the camera over there, viewers. Anyway, it's just a quiet afternoon in Benidorm. Okay viewers, we're now in the Shamrock, across from the Marina Hotel, just about to get my bag, that's a wee pint of coke. I'm working viewers. We've got a good uh, big screen in here showing the football, we've got a live singing on, that's why I come in here. They've got some good music on, a lot of outdoor space in the Shamrock as well. There's the hotel across there, I've got to walk to the next hotel in Victoria, 12 minutes away. So I need to prepare myself for the journey, because it's a million degrees. Obviously I'm not going to taxi, I'm going to be walking it. This guy's really good. Um, they've got live music in here at night as well. It's a very famous bar in Benidorm. You know this song, eh? We about Steve Errol. Okay viewers, day five, we have now arrived at the RH Victoria Hotel. This is really at the kind of edge of the old town. Not a bad location at all really, and we've got a wee side sea view, how nice is that? There's a few hotels next door, the pool has lost the sun at this time, 7pm it's getting filmed, I think if you go into the pool you're going to have to get the sun beds right next to the pool to get all day sun, that's what I think. Seems like a really nice hotel so far, wait till I tell you how much I paid for this. Yours, the best deal ever. We'll leave a link at the end of this video if you want to see the room review, the breakfast and the evening meal. I'm half bored in this hotel, four star hotel for £28. That is a catch, but yours. need to watch the video at the end and I'll let you know. I'll give you a wee sneak preview of the room, but... Wee table and chairs there as well. So the room's pretty nice. It's pretty nice and modern, to be fair. Seems a very comfortable hotel, we desk as well, tea and coffee, kettle, uh, location, really decent, we're well, not far actually, the wee strip, the bars, winner's bar just down there as well, so we're very very close to that, just up the road from it, so location wise not too bad, I can walk to the, the strip in about 10-15 minutes maybe, maybe 15, actually no, 11 minutes, I Google mapped it from the Hotel Marina, it's about 11 minute walk to the strip, and if I want to go right down towards the old town, I'm going to be probably about the same maybe, as well, maybe even a wee bit less. Hello viewers, we're at the RH Victoria Hotel in Benidorm, just outside the old town. Good news, HP sauce, if you like HP sauce. So I'm just going to show you some of the food here. There might be an issue with the lights here, we'll wait and see. Bear with me, we'll see what it's like. 
Okay viewers, day five at the Victoria Hotel. We're just about to have dinner. Apologies for the lights there. Pumpkin soup. I thought I would try it. Wasn't that keen on it. Let's see what the rest looks like. Quite a nice dining area. Uh, and there's a, a lot more people in than there is on the marina. Okay viewers, update. We've went for everything. We've got stew, beef stew, carrots. We've got a grilled steak to do show cooking, cooked it fresh in front of me. We've got onions, we've got lettuce, we've got steamed potatoes. There's roast turkey under there as well. And there's some chips, and obviously carrots, I love carrots. Uh, I'll let you know how it is, it looks okay. The proof's in the pudding once eat it. Okay, we update viewers. The food is definitely a lot better than the last hotel was in the Hotel Marina. It's pretty average, but to be honest with you. Um, that's the grilled steak, didn't really taste too much. Uh, steamed potatoes, they didn't taste any really either. The stew was okay. So my general thoughts are, I'll do I'll do a bigger um, video. I'll leave a link at the end, just up there. If you want to check out the full selection, they've actually got a very good selection here. What I had and what I picked, I would say was average. Entertainment at the Victoria Hotel. It's definitely appealing to the older clientele in here. I think I'm going to head to the strip. Day 5 viewers, 11pm on the promenade in Benidorm. We've just left the old town just up to the left there. Benidorm is absolutely buzzing tonight. Uh, so on a Friday night, yeah I'm trying to remember the day, Friday night, really good atmosphere. The beach is very busy as well, a lot of families out on the beach having a wee picnic, having a wee bite to eat and a wee bit to drink. Um, really, really good atmosphere here tonight. So nice. I've met quite a lot of viewers uh, just on a wee video there. I might go on another channel, I'm not quite sure. Um, so the guys I met from Wales, lovely to meet you outside Cherry's Bar. Um, the guys I met from uh, Bradford as well, lovely to meet you outside Oliver's at Tapas Alley. And uh, all the other guys I met on the walk as well. So I've met so many viewers and many dogs, been absolutely brilliant. Hopefully I'll meet some more tomorrow. Um, that's up towards the old town, but I'm heading up this way. I'm not quite sure yet where I'm going. I'm going to make a decision on that pretty soon, viewers. Let's continue. City sports bar, very, very busy, as you can imagine. Um, it's just, I mean, it literally cannot get by here. Let's continue. Just a wee bit further up. Last night, I busted the P men. Um, the, the, the oldest scam in the world, you'll see that video on the channel soon. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link at the end if it's up before this video, and you can check it out. I just walked by them, there's a wee crowd out. Obviously, you'll know the, how the scam works. They basically, the gang are part of the crowd, and the kid on the winning money. Older people usually um, then start playing the game, lose money, uh, and also the operating gangs in the pickpocket as well. So, avoid them at all costs. You'll see them all around Europe. It's the oldest scam in the world. So I've actually seen them. Now, if I'd actually stopped and filmed them, they were, they were right here. If I'd actually stopped and filmed them, they would be quite aggressive and not tell me to stop filming. So I walked by them, maybe about 40, 50 yards at the most, and then I turned around and I started filming them. Um, and then one of them then decided to walk up right behind me and I just seen him behind me and I thought this guy is approaching me from behind I didn't know what he was going to do so I turned around and I just said to him do you want to say hello so he's on the camera he might be a thumbnail we'll wait and see if yours what happens with that one <laughs> um, so avoid the enemy anyway. Ben and Dom's a great place but just obviously common sense isn't it there's Tiki Town really busy there Rob how you doing myself and Rob had a wee drink here uh, they've got bucket deals, they've got all sorts of deals and cocktails as well. What a beautiful night in Benidorm. Absolutely buzzing. And this is the kind of towards the old town, so I'm heading up towards the strip. Don't know if I'm going to go as far as the strip, I've not decided yet. Uh, Lucy from the Benidorm Stuff, Benidorm Enthusiast channel on YouTube recommended Gary George, a comedian, he plays at the Palladium. You think he's on about half eleven? I might pop in and see him. There's the Guinness bar. It's a uh, Pretty busy in there, they've got live music on as well. Live music in so many places here. This bar next door has normally got live music as well. They've got a wee bit of oasis going on in there. So let's continue. 
Yeah, pretty busy here as well. Not, not been in this bar yet, one of the few bars I've not been in here. So, it's pretty busy, as you can see. The statue. Let's take a wee look back at the promenade. Look how busy it is. Pretty busy. Let's continue. Moor Beach, this bar looks a, wee, looks a wee bit more upmarket. I passed it the other day. Um, yeah, they've got waiting staff and all that, so a wee, a wee bit more upmarket looking. Don't know what kind of music they've got, maybe a DJ. Urban Beach as well looks really nice up the top there as well. Promenade is so busy, isn't it? All the people still on the beach out there. A lot of people on the beach. Normally at this time of night you wouldn't really see anybody on the beach, but still hot, still some people in the sea actually, further down. Let's continue viewers, I'm quite close to the hotel, I stayed there last night, the Hotel Marina. Hold on, you're still watching, thanks so much for your support, really appreciate it. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free, I hope you're enjoying the Benidorm videos. Okay, let's continue viewers, keep going. We've got some music coming from here, let's get back on the promenade. What's that called? KM Plaza, is it? Not sure. The younger crowd in there. We've got the Penelope Beach Club there as well. It's nice to see them all up at night. Uh, Bay Beach next door also. Now the interesting thing is, we were talking about the P-Men earlier on. I think it's too busy for them to operate when it's like this. Oh, it's all lit up nice in there, isn't it? It's pretty nice. Let's continue. Now, that is a wee bit of heartbreak there. Your live music in there as well. Not been in that bar, but they do a lot of rock uh, tribute bands. I probably would really like that. Check out the the car they've got. Girl singing sounds absolutely great. Oh, sounds good. That's on the list. I'll go in there one day. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow night, we'll see viewers. A bit busy tonight, uh, doing these videos. Let's continue. That restaurant is so busy, look at it. Stretching all the way back there. What's the name of it? Pinocchio. Okay, I think they'd one in Torrebeck as well. I don't know if it's a chain. Might be. These lights were on last night, see these lights up the top? I don't know why they're not on tonight. I don't know what's going on there. Cost 11 energy bills, maybe they're trying to save some money on the energy. Don't blame them. Could go down that way if I was going to the Marina Hotel and just turn right. There's an Irish bar there as well. What's the name of it again? I think that's the Boring, I think it's called. Not sure where I'm going yet. I'm going to go up here and go right. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. The, the, the boring, I think it's a silent D. Irish viewers, let me know. Maybe I'm wrong there. Yeah, let's continue down the promenade. I quite like the promenade walks at night. It's quite nice here. Daily catch, fish and chips here. I don't know why I've never noticed this place before. There's a lot of fish and chip places. If you're interested in fish and chip Benidorm reviews, check out the Mac Masters channel. He's got quite a lot. He's been in Rays 1, 2, is it a 3? I don't know. Here is Detona. Lovely bar overlooking the beach here. Um, live music normally on as well. Don't know if it's on just now. Don't think the live music on just now. Maybe on a wee break. But it's a lovely, lovely bar overlooking the beach. What's not to like, viewers, as I said. Very, very nice. Let's continue, viewers. You still with me? Hot viewers, hot. You still with me? You're an absolute superstar. Thanks so much for all your support. I know I ask you to subscribe, it's free, but actually the thing that helps the channel the absolute most is if you watch videos till nearly the end. 
it's called retention on YouTube and if it recognises that people watch the videos, they'll then recommend other people come on to the channel. So you are superstars, I really appreciate it. Nice wee quiet spot here. Nice. Okay, where are we viewers? Where are we? Oh, I know where we are now, the wee fun fair there. Kids fun fair over there, arcade, bowling, stuff like that as well. Promenade is longer than expected. Okay viewers, I'm going to make a decision on where I'm going very shortly. I'd just like to thank everyone of for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the daily diaries. I'm forgetting all the time to do them um, when I'm out and about just doing these things. And it requires quite a lot of editing, so I'm not sure I'll do it again. But let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed them. I am something a bit different. I'm just giving you a wee glimpse into what I'm doing during the day and stuff like that. So I hope you've enjoyed them viewers. Strip at midnight, it takes a different level when you come here at the weekends compared to during the midweek. Somebody's on the bull in the Red Lion. It is so busy here. Okay, viewers, the Palladium. There's a big, massive queue to get in here. I think this is probably part of a stag and hen weekend package or something like that. I couldn't believe it. I've just come out, seen the comedian Gary George. He's really, really funny. Um, don't sit at the front if you're not one involved in the show. <laughs> it's funny. Um, Lucy, you were right. Look at the queue, all the way back there. That's for Sticky Vicky. Uh, she's on next. So I've just left yours, and everybody here is going in to see that. Because I was in there thinking, going from a comedian to an act like that, is it going to be busy? And I was thinking, surely everybody's not going to stay for that. And then I came out and I seen this big massive queue. So clever marketing. We've got everybody involved in a package. We've probably got out quite a few places.